Hi, I'm Saradhi and in this video I'm going to explain how to add column profiling rules to a column profile. So we're going to learn on how to add a column profile for a column profiling rule to a column profile that already exists in the Informatica Analyst tool. So this would be the URL of my Informatica Analyst tool and this is how the console looks like. So imagine I already have a profile here, a profile underscore local table which has profiled two columns ID and department. Now if you see the this console does not show any profiling rules now what I would do is go here it says edit profile now I'll edit the profile and under the tab called column profiling rules I'll go here and I'll click on the add icon to add a new rule. So if the rules already exist you can select apply a rule and then in the next window it would show you the existing rules but because the rule does not exist I'll create a rule say ID greater than 1 IDs greater than one that's my description and suppose I want to save this as a reusable rule so that I can apply it to another profiles I can click save as reusable rule in and I can select the folders now that I have only one folder it would list that folder here or if you do not want to save this as a reusable rule this box could be unchecked now at the bottom we'll see certain functions and then the columns in the table that we are going to profile so these functions could be applied to the columns or to expressions so let us first take a simple expression saying id say greater than one this is the expression that i have given i can use any of these functions like is null of id or is null of department also in the expression editor but in this video we're going to see how to build a simple expression and how to add it to a column profile so I have given an expression where I said ID greater than 1 where ID is the column in my source table and I would validate the expression to see if it is valid it says the expression is valid now suppose I give an incorrect operator here it would say a parser error and it would point to where you know my exception is so this ampersand is not a recognized operator so it throws me an error so I would give ID greater than 1 and I'll say validate expression is valid I'll say OK now we get two options here one is to save and one is to save and run and the cancel um, cancels all the changes that you have done in this edit window so if I just save the column profile rule would be saved to this profile but the profile will not be run with this rule so the next time we run the profile it, it takes into consideration this rule and runs it but if you want to run the profile immediately click on save and run when I click on save and run if you see this work area we'll see that it's running the profile on the columns now when we when we started with the profile we see that there was no rule here but after we added the rule we see the profiling rules here now say I click on my rule my rule was to check what are the IDs that were greater than one so I click here and it shows me the values okay so this rule will be added here and my table shows what are all the unique values for which the ID is greater than one so I can drill down here and see that all these four rows have ID greater than one right so this one here value 1 shows that these are all the rows for which the condition or this rule is satisfied 
and 0 if I click on drill down shows the rows for which the condition is not satisfied for example our, our rule was saying ID greater than 1 now so it means ID equal to 1 doesn't satisfy this rule so the value here would be either 1 or 0 now the value on if we click on 1 it shows all the rows when I click on drill down of 1 it shows all the rules all the rows that satisfy this rule and here at the bottom all the IDs are greater than 1 when I click on value 0 and click drill down it shows me all the values that did not satisfy this rule ID greater than 1 so this is how we add a rule to a particular column profile in uh, profile and then we identify the patterns or the rows which satisfy this rule or which does not satisfy this rule so in this presentation we have seen how to add a simple rule to our existing column profile and how to interpret or drill down to the rows that satisfied the rules or that does not satisfy the rules thank you so we would love to hear from you on the feedback front and you could always contact us at support videos at informatica.com or you could follow us on twitter at InfoSupport. thank you